Yo family, two things made me want to make this video today in the House of Creed. One, they dropped a new cologne, or they're about to drop one. And I also seen reviewers show how Creed Events is, how effective it is on the ladies. And I just said to myself, you know what? People really don't understand, you know, how effective Creed Events really was. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that I think it's the most appealing to women out of all out of the Creed collection. And I've owned Santel. I've had a lot more Creeds than this, but I just use them and then I buy all the stuff and and the original Santel, I feel like buying another bottle of it. Cause when the ones I was wearing, I went through like two or three bottles of it, the four rounds. It was just starting to burn my skin when I was spraying myself. So it was like whatever they were putting in there just wasn't working with me. So I stopped buying it. But it was really good. But I'm going to show you how long I've been collecting Creed for. This is the four rounds of Ventus. This is either 2012, 2013 batch. Look at the nozzle. This is from way back. Check this out. Europa. This is... <laughs> You won't find these anymore. You know, um, this also, the Silver Mountain Water, you're not going to find anymore, the four rounds. Or you're going to pay an arm and a leg. Same thing with the Royal Oud, the four rounds. This is my second bottle of uh, Royal Water. So I do have four ounces here in my collection. Uh, but what I would say is that I don't think that really makes a difference on the longevity of these colognes, you know. Um, and what I would say also, even though I do have a really old Creed, this was a head-turning fragrance. Well, it is a head-turning fragrance, right? But I would say that a good amount of women like this, like 8 out of every 10. But the ones that liked it, ooh, some of them will go crazy for this. Or 9 out of 10 would like this fragrance and then you would have those ones that would go nuts for creative answers because you know when it first dropped these it's a very pineapple birchy and they you know the ingredients probably was different they were able to use but to me the biggest head turn the two biggest head turners that creed has like they all smell good but these two are you know I would say are superior when it comes to to knocking down women. It's Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water. And Creed Imperial. Millicene Imperial. These two, for me, are clearly the biggest head turners in the Creed lineup. And I've smelled a lot of their stuff. You know, um, and I and I said I had different bottles, you know. Um, I should have had, I would have had, like I said, um, Santal, but it wasn't the four ounce bottles. I don't know, it just was burning my skin. Maybe the formulation is different now. Maybe it was a chemical they had, now they banned it. You know how this works sometimes. They ban chemicals and companies have to recomposition the stuff. But what I would also say is that you know, Silver Mountain Water and Mr. and Imperial, the, the biggest head turners. But a Creed Aventus was definitely a 9 out of 10. Uh, Royal Water right here is definitely another head turner. Royal Ooh, big head turner. Virgin Island Water, big head turner. Like, those fragrances right there really smell good like beyond normally good you know like Europa smells really good but it smells like if you're on a yacht in the middle of the sea I mean you can't describe it better than that original vetiver super clean musky fresh just you're in the forest and everything is just wet and clean like really wet and really clean and not like a dirty wet, a clean wet. Fanta fantastic fragrance. Fragrance Dubois, Portugal Dubois, another, I love that fragrance. You know, um, 
Creed Viking. Man, last so long. Green Irish Tweed. See? Four rounds. So I, I've been at this for a while, guys. You know, my my judgment is solid. I think I think Creed gets a lot of bad hype, you know. Not sure why. I don't know what the motives are. I can't really tell you, but I do find this house to be a really good house, you know. Some of these fragrances are not the biggest projecting fragrance and the longest lasting, but some of them are, right? Like like Viking. This right here, I swear, it lasts 10 hours on my skin, hands down. Now, some of my water, it's always been a six to eight hour fragrance on me. But this is a lady killer. This is definitely like one of the best I've ever seen in my life do it. Europa, another one that if you wear in a regular day, you're going to get six or seven hours. But if you wear in the high heat, it really blossoms. Like I said, this is meant for that high heat. And, you know, I stopped wearing it because it was so good. And I just wanted to hold it. And I was buying a lot of silver mountain water at the time. That was like my go-to, you know, because I'm telling you, the damage that would do on females was next level. Um, I, I did, I did, uh, this is my second bottle of Royal Water. That's why I don't wear it, because it's so freaking good that only on special summer occasions I drop it on, because that, I get nine hours. I don't know what to say. Virgin Island Water, you know, I, I really get seven to nine hours, and that's the new formulation, right? As far as a 3.3, and I had it macerating for years, but it's 100 mil. You know, um, I get seven to eight hours, seven to eight hours, um, eight to 10 hours. This is another six hour fragrance. Always been that way. It's never really not. This one and this one are lady killers. So they're meant for like dates and you just got to keep a little refill if you're going to extend the, the, the date and go on further and respray yourself because these are fragrances these two some of my water and imperial is things that no female is going to ever be like oh don't spray that believe that and like i said this is 10 hours on my skin this is another 10 hour on me but honestly i, I got an older formulation so i can't really say what about a new formulation because why would i buy it you know I'm not going to buy it unless it's just for content, pur content purposes, you know. Um, Royal, uh, Royal Oud, another 10-hour fragrance. You know, and this, these are freshies. This is more of a freshie. Summer, spring, you know, summer, spring, barbershop scent. This too, summer. I mean, they la the ones that are meant to last, they last. And the ones that are meant for spring and summer are spring and summer fragrances. You're going to get... Anywhere from six to eight hours on them. It's kind of how it works. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, oh, yeah, look. I got the Royal Mayfair. This is good, but it's an acquired taste. I got the bottle right here. I just wanted to, um, to smell it because I used to love wearing this to go to bed. But when they discontinued it, I stopped doing that. <laughs> they vaulted the fragrance, so I vaulted that bottle. You know? And I still have, I would say, about 60% of the bottle. So, it'll last me a lifetime, you know? They vaulted the fragrance. And you know something, guys? I've been collecting... Since I was like literally nine years old. I was spraying polo green on at four years old. So I do know what I'm talking about. I'm not here just babbling my mouth. I don't think I'm not going to say I'm better than other people. Everybody has their own nose. And it's good to listen to a lot of people. Especially when it comes to such a subjective subject as fragrance. But what I would say is that in the 80s, the most popular fragrances was the cool water, Fahrenheit. Um, eternity and obsession and polo green I mean if you had those five and I had them and mind you if you're my age you're 46 all this stuff came out between the ages of four 
f between the ages of my age of four years old or actually younger, two years old, Polo Green, like 78. I was like one years old, like 78 it came out. Or maybe even 77, the year I was born. And I've been spraying that since I was four years old that I can recall. And then Obsession came out in the, in the middle of the late 90s, I mean the late 80s. Uh, cool Water, same thing, like 87, 88, Obsession, 86, Eternity, you know, Fahrenheit. So when those fragrances hit the market, I mean, they changed everything in the game. And I had those fragrances at an early age, except for Fahrenheit. I'm not going to lie to you, that was really like for adults. That gasoline was just no joke. Ain't no way a nine-year-old, 10, 12-year-old is going to want to rock that. But the rest, I had Obsession, Eternity, Polo Green, Cool Water, Tilt. And even Jupe. Jupe, oh my God, was banging back in the day. That's another, like, big fragrance back in the 80s. So, guys... I hope you like my content of Creed. I did do a lot of uh, reviews on all of these already. If you just scroll down, you'll see. New subscribers, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And praise to the Most High family. And we out of here. Man Cologne channel. Peace.